to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed.
bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. John looked at Claire. It was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea.
struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. First time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now, it just seemed empty. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed empty. to jump the massive scary gaps for old time's sake. to meet my mate James, who's literally insane. seen anyone else in a long time. 
Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. James liked being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up? James's had been. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone.
us working together could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. James grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. He knew that eventually they'd find the others. Then he'd go back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? Did he 
not care about his inversions? James was having fun for the time being. Quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom channel through which all data flowed in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. More, more like an eagle. 
She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, would know how to escape. The Red One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marvelled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possessed heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her, if they were up to it, which they were probably not. Close. Sarah sensed the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And then, escape!
the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cats who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that was a lie. To do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles.
Sera was deflated. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him.
not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same?
was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above.
massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. meet Nathan Fillion or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to.
something change beneath his feet. Something had shifted. The shape in front of him hinted at a possibility. Wow. He couldn't do that before. Joe was happy. They'd settled here. They'd not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. She saw Sam leap into the shifter with fear. letting him do this. It was dumb. It was awesome, obviously, but why? They seemed to be leading him up. Up. And... stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. Sam was sorry, and he tried to calm Joe down. 
couldn't explain why he felt this way. He just knew that there was somewhere else he should be. whisper to the shifters. They had not occurred randomly. They had been created. He set off. to the old man. The shifters had been placed in the world by the architects, AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. There was an outer world, a world beyond the confines of their universe. to like her newfound abilities. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. It was getting a bit chilly though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
left the old man behind. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. He had to get there before anyone else did. should never have told him. He had to get to the other AIs of the world, warn them about Grey. Stop him. saw Grey across the gap. He waved them over. He seemed, well, nice. They helped him to the next portal.
and Jump had been together for a long time. They were a machine, a well-oiled machine. They could jump like nobody's business. Thought as one, they acted as one. before the team. He begged them to help. He told them of the outer world, of the cats who couldn't spell, of the liar, Grey. Up and to the right, they answered in unison. Joe and Sam continued moving upwards. They had to make it. Gray had told the couple he was looking for a lost friend. 
he'd made something up about being alone on a quest for lost allies. They had eaten it up. along with their spiritual leader, Paul, worked their way right. Team Jump were proud of their progress. They'd obliterated all challenges in their path. Yeah, they'd heard of individuals getting stuck on staircases or stepping stones. This did not happen to Team Jump.
could tell they were nearing the exit portal. He smiled to himself, trying to work out the easiest way of dispensing with his allies when the time came. saw the others beyond the wall. They were doing well. Paul tried to shout a warning, but they couldn't hear him. Gray counted five in team jump. Oh, he could take that.
Sam was worried at how silent Gray had become. He wasn't responding to Joe's questions or acknowledging them at all. trying to save his friends? worried at how silent Grey had become. He wasn't responding to Joe's questions or acknowledging them at all. to save his friends?
the path ahead wasn't safe. He told the team to wait, that he'd come get them when it was secure. Grey had to be stopped, whatever the cost. had been separated from its allies for some time. She'd not heard the order to retreat. She was shocked by the appearance of the four aberrations below. The old one seemed to be leading the liar to an outcropping. It was within her reach. She could remove them both. The couple could wait. They weren't going anywhere.
Joe and Sam ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this. leapt 